together where I'm doing Svetlana in the summer of 2021 we packed our dogs in the car and uh, made our way to Greece to start our new life as liverboards on a sailboat. This is our journey, I hope you enjoy it and please like and subscribe. Svetlana's here today to help, but someone's pinched our ladder. So we've got the ladder at the back at the moment, but I'm going to need this to start cutting this side, which I've just washed down to get most of the dust off. So I've got to find another ladder first. So, yeah. side taped off ready for anti-foul. Sweaters just cleaning the rubbing strip with um, acetone and uh, she's just about finished the tin so once she's done that we're gonna call it a night. My back is absolutely agony so I'm sat down because I've just finished cutting and polishing the uh, port side and putting the um, masking tape on. So we'll max, mask off this starboard side tomorrow and then uh, get the anti foul on and then we're, we're good. Um, just waiting on the prop shaft. <laughs> Stark has not daft. She's in the shade. Thank you, sweetheart. Yeah. Good girl. The trouble with uh, being injured is that things take three or four times as long as they should do which has a knock-on effect because it means that we're putting out some blooming boring YouTube clips recently so apologies for that but hopefully um, things will get more interesting um, next week yeah so other news this is coming off our week on Monday and um, I've got a back brace until three weeks, so yeah, and the dogs are quite happy. They're having dust baths and things, are you trough? Yeah, hello Smiler. So this is how the professionals do it, they're masking up and putting plastic on they're going to spray. So. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Looking like it is. They put there. primer on the bow, which already looks a lot better. So, yeah. 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 It's. What, 30 degrees? 30 degrees. Scorcho! Yeah. And it, it's not even the middle of April yet. I know. 
So there you have it, it's all sprayed. We ran out, so we ended up getting some more. Slightly different colour, and I think it's actually better. So, it's much better. So, yeah. Yeah, well we ran out, and Svetlana had to go and get some more. Well, not just go and get some more. Mm. So I think they're doing this one tomorrow. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So yeah. It wasn't yeah. easy, was it? It wasn't easy, but it's done. Seat. And it makes a huge difference. <coughs> so the sides are not perfect, but they're as good as I think we're going to get them this time around. Um, still a bit cloudy, but to be honest, no. Now the anti is on, you can't really get down because you're going to end up marking the anti -foul. So, once the silver bootstrap goes on, I think it'll look alright. And where this repair is, you can hardly tell there's been a repair now. Which I'm really pleased about. So, yeah. Very nice. Very pleased about that. So that's good. Uh, I just no, I just moved the prop shaft into a way where I could get my arm between the blades. That helped all. Oh, that's nice, mate. Yeah. yeah. So you now that won't pull it up because it's on the brass. Yeah. So that's actually threaded onto the brass now. Yeah. So as you can see, there's a there's a, gap. a gap here. Yeah. Um. One second. What size is that again? Ten. Yeah. But like you say, you don't want to open the holes up and give it play. That's the issue, isn't it? Mm. Once it's got play, it's got movement, and when it's got movement, it's got vibration. Do we do we need to fill the holes with thickened epoxy and then we drill them? Because I've got thickened epoxy. You have, have you? Yeah. Yeah. It's because it's cast. Isn't it? Yeah. Exactly in the right place. No, no. Where's that? Okay. Yeah, I've, I've got some thickened epoxy, so... No, that's not that's not just from the angle. No. That doesn't help. No. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, so step one. These are, then these are putting pressure on, these won't go up. No. Just to get the angle of where it is, you see? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Because it's also going to be putting pressure on the cutlass bearing, isn't it? Yeah, and you've got not a lot of rubber on it. Um... <sighs> Things are moving quickly now, which is good. So Matt's back, he's brought the um, 
P-bracket back, we're just doing a dry fit now. He's managed to fettle a cutlass bearing that was damaged when it arrived. So uh, it's going on and I'll, uh, I'll get the antifoul on it. So it's a dry fit today, then they're coming back um, later on just to do the proper fit. But it's on, that's the main thing, it's on. Hey, oh, we've got the hunter signs on. They look pretty good, I think. If dry fit in the P-bracket, there's some adjustment to do. As you can see, hopefully, here, it's touching the side. So it needs to come over, and it will do, uh, and up slightly. Uh, but uh, they're going to come back tomorrow, take out all of the old sicker, and start to, uh, to fettle it. But they're doing it in the spare time, so they can only spare a couple of hours at a time. So, uh, yeah, very grateful to them for doing it. This side again. Put the stickers are on. And there's another boat moving. So, yeah. Right. Uh, I'm going to call it a day. And uh, get back up to the flat and have a lie down because my back is killing me again. So. So I'm just doing little jobs. Well, I can't. I've got the engine cover off again. I'll tell you what, that really took some lifting. Now I'm fastening and replacing this pipe. You know, remember the one that was all split and broken? This one. So I'm, uh, I'm just fastening this on here and then putting it to length. Uh, and then I've got the um, wires to run for the fridge and freezer uh, so that they're running a more sensible route. And then I've got to try and work out what's going on with this earth bonding as to why that's not um, earthing properly so we don't get the same issues that we've had before. So lots to do guys, lots to do as usual. <laughs> Time to sort the earth bonding issue out now. So on top of the engine, where the mounting, not the mounting, the lifting point is, this bolt, which is bolted to the lifting point, had this on it with a missing wire. It's the only place I can think of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up another wire to go onto that bolt, um, and then I'm going to join all of the earth bonding together and hopefully that should cure it. We'll see. D-Day minus one. What? D-Day minus one. We go back in yeah. the water tomorrow. Ah, oh, such a lot left to do. Such a lot left to do. So. Uh -huh. I've got the photos of it. Uh -huh. Before I could not find them. 
the, the colors, if you couldn't find the colors, all the plastic things are gone, there's only one or two, and they were discolored. So I've done that. It's, I had four coats. Uh -huh. I shared the paint with Anna. So she already had some, but uh, she said we could go house. So yeah, I worked out. Fine, and I made them look longer so I don't miss them. Clever me. And I'm going to talk in the boat now. So, the technique is this is wet, this is dry. <laughs> Clever me, aren't I? Also, so this is just at the end is wet and this is dry. I'm doing wet. <clears throat> And then just turn it and just dry a bit here. Clever, eh? Da? <laughs> <laughs> you can't believe your luck, though, it's all clear. <laughs> How clever. What do you agree? <laughs> I've never seen you working as hard, ever. What? I've never seen you working as hard, ever. <laughs> really? Yeah. You don't see my, my work, you just come back home for tidy, clean house, clean dishes, dinner making, dogs fed, just go, come back home and lie down, uh. don't you? And the fairy came, the landed did nothing, so it didn't work hard. The fairy came and did all the, all the housework. Uh. Isn't it? Yeah. So, we've got a spare anti-foul there for right. when these come off. And the primer's gone on now, the prop shaft is on. Oh, the guy's had a, a job and a half doing this, so can't thank them enough. But they've done a cracking job, and uh, it wasn't easy for them. It's the time of year when all the charter boats are going back in the water. So these guys are working like 14, 15 hour days because they've got hundreds of charter boats that they're putting back in the water. And they're still finding the time to come and help me fit this prop shaft as a favor. And they've had to, they've had all sorts of uh, jiggery poker with it to get it to align properly and get it to fit. But it's in, and it's bolted down, and the 5200's gone off, and it's all aligned, and it spins nicely. Uh, so yeah, the only thing is, there's not a lot of meat on the cutlass bearing. Um, so uh, they're just a bit concerned about that, even though the cutlass bearing came with the shaft, with the um, bracket. So, I want to keep an eye on it. So we've got the shaft anode on. I've got another anode to go onto the, the bracket because uh, the bracket isn't bonded to the shaft. So uh, I know the, shaft, the anode is protecting the propeller and I know that I've got the engine bonded to the bracket and that's working. So I've got a whacking grate anode down there to put on it hopefully that should then give it some protection and we'll just have to keep an eye on it see what it does 